What's up y'all? It's been a while since I've done a tackle making video, but I just picked up a new do-it mold. This is the hybrid grass jig. If I get my camera to focus on it there. This is the model HGJ hash or dash four dash A. This is a uh, different, it's an assorted sizes hybrid grass jig. I finally got a bait making set up here in my new house in my new garage so you're gonna see a lot more than that a lot more than this video coming out but again um apologize being hot and sweaty here we've been i've been trying to get my my little work area here set up uh, but i'm gonna pour my very first hybrid grass jigs today and i'm gonna put a theory to test uh, everybody says that you need to smoke a mold meaning taking uh either a spray that's a mold release or a candle flame and sooting, sooting it out and I've been doing that on all of my molds. Uh, I've done that on all my do-it molds but I've been seeing people online pour these things straight in without you know putting put any kind of mold release on there so I'm going to try it today. Uh, could be an epic failure but we're going to actually do this today just so we can learn together to make sure that if it is you know necessary to do that. Um, but when you buy any do-it mold you always get an instruction booklet with it that shows you you know best best practices and you always get the needed hardware that you need for the mold in this case it comes with the little uh, center core plugs here there's four of them uh, there's four molds a more mold cavity so you can pour these in here I'm not 100% sure but these look to be a little smaller uh, as far as a, a cavity but I guess they can't be because uh, they use the same weed guard style as most other things and, and do it does send you one weed guard with this just to test it out you can purchase a lot of different things from them uh, but we're going to pour these things up today again for the very first time i'm going fishing tomorrow i'm going to take these out here and put them through the test um, there is a uh, three eighths half ounce five eighths and three quarter in here uh, i'm going to pour some of the half ounce and five eighths you guys know me and a lot of my other molds that I use that have weed guards that I always modify them to to have a weed or to, for the weed guard to be wire. I like wire weed guards more than I do these fiber weed guards. One, I, I don't know. I just feel like they have less of a uh, intrusive look. Uh, you can catch them with this fiber weed guards for sure, but I like the wire. So eventually, I will probably take this mold and I will probably modify it with some. Uh, high temp silicone just like like my last of my molds there to accept a wire weed guard if you guys are interested in how i've done that you can check out the channel there's a i'll actually show you how i've done it using uh, just high temp silicone gasket maker to fill in the areas where this uh, center core plug would be um i assume i'm saying that right this plug right here um where this would be i would then fill that with on both sides with high temp silicone and then you could just lay those wire weed guards in there and the silicone actually compresses around them and makes a really nice fit when you're actually doing that. And again, it is 100% re reversible. If you screw up or you don't like it, you can definitely just take it out of there. It is just silicone. So without further ado, we have uh, three out, four out, and five out hooks here. Uh, five out, so the three eighths uh, takes the three out. The two center ones, which would be half ounce and three eighths takes four out. And the big boy, three-quarter ounce, takes a five-aught hook, which is, is really intriguing to me. So I'm going to pour a couple of each, show you guys the finished results. And then in the next video that you guys see coming out, well, I'm going fishing tomorrow. Hard to tell when it's going to come out, probably a week or so. But you will see that I'm going to go out and put them through the pace and see if I can catch a fish on them in a small little derby there on Grayson Lake. So let's pour a couple up and see how they look. All right, so I just poured the first two. I uh, made the rookie mistake of uh, not letting my uh, lead get hot enough when I poured the first one. Second one poured really well. That's the 5.8. I'm um, getting my old pliers here set up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see this. So if you look right here, you can see that that mold did not form all the way. Whereas if you look at this one right here, especially with these really really cool aggressive uh bait holders that this new grass jig has on it it poured fully this one here did not just basically wasted a hook there there's not much you can do to salvage that you can put it back in your lead pot try to get it off there but man it's almost impossible 
But now comes the test. Uh, I mentioned before at the beginning of this video that I said that I was going to try to do this without putting any kind of mold release agent on there. Again, I just use smoke uh, or soot from a candle. I didn't put anything on this mold at all because I wanted to test a little theory here. So I'm going to try to get this thing out of here uh, without having it on there. I'm going to see the difference. So um, I'll move the camera down here so you can see it and see what kind of uh, how, you know, how big of a deal it is to get it out of here. All right, so again, this is not a how-to video, and the eyes I have are way too small. These are for my poison tail jig. I need to pick up some more of these. I actually have really big eye sockets in them, so I'm going to be taking care of that. But without a skirt on it, here is, again, this is the new hybrid grass jig from Do It. I love the new really aggressive trailer holder on there, or your bait keepers. I love those things. They're huge. Should hold on there really well. Um, I'm going to go out and put this thing through the paces tomorrow. And again, guys, the eyes on this thing, are they're not anywhere close to being right. They're way small. But I love this powder paint. This is black copper, I believe. It's a vein paint. I pick it up on Amazon. You can get it places like Barlow's Tackle. This is actually gold black vein. I wanted copper. Last time I ended up getting the gold. Kind of like it better than copper. I uh, really like the way this thing looks. does break up the head a little bit. Instead of being one solid collar, gives it a little kind of more realistic look kind of a camouflage deal but i'm gonna throw a skirt on this thing and i'm gonna go throw some of them tomorrow at grayson in this tournament and see how they do i love the way this thing looks i'm sure it's going to perform flawlessly kind of like a uh a mix between a, a swim jig and a regular jig that you can throw kind of like a it's almost like a poison tail a little bit um but pretty cool little mold uh, our little science experiment did work. I didn't have to put any kind of mold release agent on the do-it mold. It just goes to show about their quality of construction. But there it is, guys. The uh, hybrid grass jig. Pretty daggone cool stuff. I'm going to put a skirt on this thing and let's get after it tomorrow in the tournament. Wish me luck.